Hey everybody, here at Holly we want to help you make your automotive dreams a reality. My name is Matt. Here with me today is Doug. He is the lead engineer on this project. We have the 1971 Dodge Challenger. This is the e-body platform, 1970-1974 e-body platform. Originally produced, this is a base, basically a base car that was originally produced with a, a 318-727 combination. We use this as our development platform for uh, third gen Hemi swaps for all the e-body platform. Currently it's living with a 2015 6.4 liter Gen 3 Hemi out of a 2015 Dodge Challenger. Um, this is a good example of a VVT SRV combination that has all the bells and whistles from 2015 forward. We have designed engine mounts specifically for this engine chassis combination that locate the engine in the, the correct location for um, transmission combinations that you might want to use from 727 all the way through 8HP90. Um, this engine is currently running on Terminator X Max that is controlling fuel controls, VVT and SRV with our uh, VVT and SRV harnesses. So this system also controls the drive-by wire, right Doug? Yes, it does. Uh, Terminator X Max also has drive-by wire capabilities um, as well as VVT and SRV. The engine mounts that we designed for this car will, will accommodate every Gen 3 Hemi from 2003 five, early 5.7s five all the way up to the most current SRT uh, crate engine offerings. Um, 6.2 Hellcat engines, Elephants, Red Eyes, 6.4, 5.7s, any combination of third gen Hemi that you can currently find either through Chrysler or in your local junkyards. These engine mounts, the headers that we developed for this car specifically for Gen 3 Hemis and this chassis will accommodate factory power steering, will accommodate the Borgeson power steering box. Um, you can put low mount auto, the car style AC compressor with the VVT front cover, um, which is a really nice combination to have if you're pulling a late model vehicle out with factory low mount AC so it keeps the AC compressor from being so far high that you have to do hood modifications or put the, the hood scoop on to accommodate the AC or alternators. Um, this car will accommodate the factory alternator position. Um, it clears the frame rail on this side. AC compressor clears the frame rail on that side. No modifications of the K-member are needed. Um, bolt the engine mounts on, drop the engine in, bolt your accessories on, and you're good to go. And of course, we're also using our cast uh, uh, mid-sump pan on this motor as well, right? Yes, we've developed actually two oil pans for this engine combination that are mid-sump that'll work with this chassis combination. One is the cast holly pan. Um, for VVT and non-VVT applications. And there's also a fabricated steel pan available through Wyand that will accommodate also VVT and non-VVT applications. This engine swap combination requires a 45 degree oil filter adapter. This is a, a Mopar Performance Products 45 degree oil filter adapter that is available either through Mopar Performance or we have it available on our website. The Oil pan, this is our Holly cast aluminum mid-sump oil pan. It's a seven quart cast pan, heavy construction, nice solid pan rail. Uses the, this actually has an integrated gasket built into it that does not require the factory windage tray and gasket. It comes with its, with an, with its own windage tray and a gasket that gets put in with it. It's got a really nice feature for those of you who are, who are going to go boosted. It's got a, an oil drain back plug on each side of the oil pan in front. It's in a perfect location for oil drain back. Uh, you don't have to cut into the pan, no tapping, no welding bungs in, they're already there. They also come with the pickup tubes that are required for that application. The pickup tubes are designed specifically for use with our pans. So when you get the kit, it comes with a pickup tube, comes with the oil pan, windage trays, you're good to go. This is an Ultra Pro Trans Cooler, 24 row trans cooler that we took off the shelf and, and applied to this application. Works great, keeps trans temperatures nice and cool for the NAG1 that's in here. Uh, important for these later model transmissions to keep them cool. You don't want to run them hot. These Ultra Pro Trans Coolers work great for that. They come in a variety of sizes from you know, tall square ones, we have them at the 36 row, I believe. You can either make them long and skinny or tall applications to fit just about anything you want. 
Um, this one happens to be 24 row. It's basically a square application that fits nicely back just behind the radiator support. It would clear the AC condenser if we had AC in this car. The, uh, this car is, is also equipped with a frostbite swap radiator. It has the integrated fan shroud, single 14 inch fan. Um, all these pieces are available through the Holly website. Doug, tell us about the power steering pump we've got on here. Power steering pump is specifically designed for Hemi swaps. It is essentially a GM power steering pump that we have designed um, mounting brackets for that bolt it directly to a Gen 3 Hemi so you do not have to alter the power steering volumes through bypass. It's designed specifically, it's driven to pressures that the power, factory power steering box can handle without having to bypass a bunch of fluid and creating heat, which means that you do not have to run an external power steering cooler. You can just bolt that pump on, hook it up to your factory power steering box and run it. And the pressures are in the right place for your factory. Correct. It's in the right place for the factory power steering box that was designed for the old school style pumps. And its packaging is, you know, we've designed it so it's a nice compact package. Um, it tucks, tucks in nice. The reservoir is integrated into the pump itself. Um, and there's also, if you, if you choose, if your battery location is such that you're running an engine combination that has an intake that's not pointing towards the driver's side like this car is, and you can run the factory battery tray on that side, um, you can, there's a remote power steering reservoir package that you can bolt to that pump that puts the reservoir off onto the fender so that it doesn't, doesn't get into the battery. Uh, I see the battery's on the wrong location in this car, Doug. Tell me about that. Well, the reason it's there is because this engine with the factory intake manifold on it obviously points directly at where the factory battery was located. Um, you can run the factory battery tray with this intake configuration, but you have to do all kinds of crazy gyrations to get the intake pipe so that you can put an air filter on the car without putting it directly where the battery's at or putting it in a place where it's going to pick up a lot of heat. So what we did was we built a, a battery tray specifically for the e-body applications that puts the battery on the passenger side of the engine compartment, um, allowing you to put the air filter where the factory battery would typically be. Um, it picks up cold air from behind the headlight. It's a straight path, short tube, easy to, easy to, ma to manufacture for the guy who's doing stuff in his garage. Um, and it's an easy installation for the battery tray. It's, it's a bolt-in application, uses uh, all the factory holes except for one. You have to drill one hole in the bottom of the frame rail just to locate the foot on the bottom of the battery tray. It comes with all the hardware, the hold down, everything to, to put the battery tray in the car and put the battery in the tray. Um, it, it's a really nice addition to our swap kits that allows you to, to some flexibility as to where the battery's gonna go without having to take it all the way to the back of the car and run all the cables through the car or under, under the car to get the battery in the back of the car. Right, it looks really clean too. It's a super clean install, it looks factory. Doug, tell us what, uh, what we're running for engine control on this one. Well, engine controls are Holley's Terminator X-Max system. It is a standalone electronic fuel injection system that not only controls the fueling to the engine, it controls engine fueling, engine timing. With the VVT and SRT, SRV harnesses that we sell separately, um, we'll do VVT engines will control VVT and is programmable. It will control SRV so you can retain your short runner intake manifold um, runner controls, which is a huge benefit. There's a lot of power people don't realize in the combination of VVT and SRV, um, there's a lot of power left on the table that a lot of guys are blocking out that they don't realize. And Terminator X allows you to keep all of that and run the, the engine as it was intended to be run from the factory with, with all those things still intact. Um, Terminator X Max is also, you know, runs all the ancillaries. It runs the fans. It turns the, the fans on and off at pre-programmed times. You can program one fan, two fans, stage them. Um, it does transmission controls for 46 RE. And more to come. And more to come. We're working on transmission controls daily. Um, we will be releasing those soon. It's a really, really comprehensive, affordable fuel injection system that's it's small, it's compact, it's easily mounted in the engine compartment, and it's, it's a great fit for hemi swaps of all kinds, whether it be an early 5.7 or a, a, you know, the latest, greatest 1,000 horsepower elephant. Yeah. yeah, it's so flexible. Like, say you want to take this uh, motor out and put it in a different car. 
Say you want to put a different motor in this car, you've got the ECU already. You go in and tune it. Say you uh, start with um, uh, a different transmission, you can go in and change that, all that stuff in there. That's correct. It's a very complete system, very um, universal and um, very affordable. All right, the next, the next part of our engine swap package that we have to show is the engine mounts, engine mounting brackets that, that bolt directly to the block, use all four mounting pad mounting points. They utilize a factory rubber e-body isolator. It bolts directly in place, just like the factory one does. Um, the Gen 3 Hemi requires that you modify the bottom edge of the isolator, regardless of what you use, so that it clears the block pan rail on the bottom edge. Um, you can use either the, the stock replacement factory mount, poly mounts available through the aftermarket. Um, it's a nice piece. It's made out of 3 16 steel. It's hand MIG welded and powder coated black, so it's going to stay a nice looking piece for a long time. It's capable of handling, you know, 1,000 horsepower elephants all the way down to the early 5.7s. It doesn't matter what engine combination you're using, these engine mounts will accommodate that. All right, Doug, tell us about the headers on this dude. Well, these are inch and 7 eighths primary, 304 stainless steel long tube headers that were designed specifically for engine swap with this E-body and B-body applications, the 66 to 72 B-body and also the 7074 E-body use the same part number. Um, it was designed, they were, headers were designed specifically for all the transmission combinations that we offer mounting brackets and cross members for. There are a number of different tra uh, transmission applications that were used behind the Hemis from pickup trucks, cars, early, late, some of them use right-hand starter applications, some of them use left-hand starter applications, and these headers will accommodate both. One of, the, one of the big hassles with a lot of applications is that you have to either loosen the headers up to get them out of the way to take the starter out uh, or take the header off completely. Um, these headers, you can, you can change the starter with the headers in, installed and not have to, to mess with them. Another uh, nice benefit there is uh, transmission. If you uh, start to build a 46RE, let's say, because uh, budget, and uh, you decide later on you want to switch up to an 8HP or a, a NAG1, uh, you know how to buy a new set of headers. Yeah, that's, that's correct. The, start, the headers were designed to clear all the bell housing combinations, oil pans, um, doesn't matter what, if, you, if we build a bracket for it, these headers will accommodate it. Tell us about the trans cross member there since we're working backwards here. Well, transmission cross member um, is a 3 16 welded steel part bolts into the factory cross member locations just like the OEM cross member did. Utilizes a GM style transmission mount which is readily available if you ever had a transmission mount fail you wouldn't have to worry about finding some special transmission mount you just go to whatever auto parts store and buy one off the shelf. The adapter bracket that's used on this this swap system that we've put together this particular bracket is for the NAG1 transmission, but if you were to decide that you wanted to upgrade to an 8HP90 or a 70 or you wanted to put a manual in the car, all you would have to do is change this bracket. The engine mounts would be the same, the cross member is the same, the isolator is the same. All you do is change the bracket, put a new transmission in. The exhaust works, the headers work, everything is, is still the same. So the only expense you would have is to put your transmission in. You wouldn't have to re-engineer the whole swap system to put that transmission in. Yeah, and a new drive shaft. And a new drive shaft, obviously, for the, for the different application. So, Doug, tell us about this exhaust system. Well, Matt, this is our uh, 304 series stainless exhaust system that was designed specifically for e-body Hemi swaps. 304 series stainless, mandrel bent construction all the way through, um, three inch diameter tubing for enough exhaust volume capacity to handle 5.7 liter all the way up to a thousand horsepower Hellcat. The features on this exhaust system, it has torque couplers on the link pipes that allow you to drop these two center pipes out. It takes five minutes to take these pipes out instead of slip joints that you have to wrestle with after it's been hot. You can service the transmission. If you ever had to drop the transmission out, you wouldn't have to take the entire exhaust system off to do that. You take these two link pipes out, leave the rest up. We've got a Siamese Dex pipe design for exhaust scavenging from left to right bank. Um, optimized flow through the center of the, the cutout for this particular 
engine combination. Um, X pipe feeds into VR series hooker mufflers, 304 mufflers also. Straight through absorption style muffler, nice heavy muscle car tone, but not super aggressive to the point where it's so loud in the car you don't want to drive it. Um, decent resonance control. Everything is, is put together with, with high quality hardware. Good inch and a half stainless steel band clamps. The hanger system is meant to be easy to install, no drilling holes in the, in the floor pans for the muffler hangers. Um, the tailpipe hangers are OEM style rubber isolators that allow the exhaust system to, to comply with expansion so that it doesn't bind the exhaust system up, but at the same time it still holds it in place so that it doesn't move around so much it's rattling on things. Uh, this particular exhaust system, we have two different exhaust systems for this car. One is the RT style with the quad tips like this car has on it. The other style is the single exit tip that goes underneath the valance that for the cars that do not have the cutout. It's got a polished stainless steel tip with the oval style uh, Super B, I call it a Super B style tip, Other, depending on your, you know, your car preferences for exhaust tips or whatever we kind of have you covered. The exhaust in this car is super high quality. It's priced affordably, uh, will last the lifetime of the car. All right, Doug, tell us about this uh, fuel tank we got in here. This looks like a nice piece. Well, this is, this is one of our sniper fuel tanks. This is actually an EFI conversion tank that is set up for fuel injection systems. It actually has a fuel pump built into it, has the fuel level sender built into the same module. So basically you take your old tank out that only has a fuel level sender in it and some suction lines for your fuel tank, for your fuel pump to draw fuel out of, um, and you replace it with this and you end up with a brand new fuel tank a 255 liter per hour or a 450 liter per hour pump, depending which option you choose from the drop downs. Bolt it in, hook your fuel lines up and some vent lines and you are good to go for internally regulated fuel pump for your EFI system. So if you put a 5.7 in or a 6.4 or 6.1 and you'd run one fuel line from the fuel tank through your filter all the way to the engine, the fuel pressure regulator is preset at 60 pounds so that, you, that will work for just about any Gen 3 Hemi application that you would put in your car other than something that requires an external regulator. Um, and it's a bolt-in, really affordable setup. Uh, it's clean and easy. See that nice silver powder coat finish too, that's pretty yeah, durable. It's powder coated right from the factory. Nice silver powder coating finish on it. Um, comes with the new straps, uh, which is nice. A lot of the straps that are on these older cars are, are have been on and off so many times they're all bent up and tweaked and it's nice to have new ones with the new fuel tank. Fits in the factory location, uh, no modifications necessary, the fuel neck slides right into it. Um, it's a nice piece. So the way we do these kits is we try to make this as universal as possible. We want to be able to get you all the options that you can come up with. So whatever motor, whatever engine transmission com combos you can come up with, we want to accommodate you. We also uh, offer several accessories. If you go to our website and look at the accessories uh, tabs under the engine swap uh, system uh, tabs on the engine swap system page, you'll be able to find those accessories. Uh, everything from Earl's fittings that fit the factory fuel rails to actual billet fuel rails, um, uh, Hellcat parts. We've got a Hellcat uh, crossover tube that's a really slick piece and very well priced. Uh, just all kinds of really cool stuff in there. Go to the website and check it out.